Right, so we're going to have a little go at doing our background on the magnolia once the petals are completely dry. And um, so I don't want it to be quite as dark as the last one that we did, but um, I do want it to have interest. So I've just got a nice little, can you see my palette there? I've got a big mix of a dark with varying shades of greens and kind of grey blues. And then I've got a nice little puddle of pink and I've wet my, um, I've wet the, uh, background under the right hand petals and up and around and across the top on the right hand side so I'm just going to drop some pink in here at the bottom there just to suggest that there might be something else going on down there can you see what I've done yes you can and um, then I'm going to cut in with my dark and it's a I suppose it's what you call and I'm just giving my brush a little wiggle there because I know that the stem of um, magnolias that first little part's a lovely interesting kind of wiggly shape I haven't put any yellow underwash under here, but I could, and that would make it a richer kind of color when I did it. Um, see how that's all feathering out really nicely there? So I'm just gonna create the edge and the shape of this petal. Now I'm going to the underside of the petal, so I'm going tight to it here. So I'm creating the shape with my brush. Now I'll go around that pink, load my brush up again, and this is a really small bit, so it's a good place to start with um, your colour. And at the bottom, it's going to be slightly darker than at the top. I think we'll have a bit more light in the top. I'm just tidying up this edge here, like so. And I'm going to let that, it's going to shape that petal around nicely, because this is the end of this section here, right at the edge there. So I've got a nice, convenient border there. And then I'm just going to go underneath that red. So there's a bit of a um, bright red blob there. It's probably a little bit too bright, so I'll wet another brush with really clean water. And let just drop, I'm just going to drop some water in on top of the pink. So it's gonna dilute the pink and create all sorts of goings on. And I'm tipping it, tipping it back up towards the, the flower, letting it run. And we know that it will, dry, it will dry a lot lighter than that, and I think that will be fine. And then I'll just drop it back down again. Then I'll just use a brush and I'll re-wet this bit because it's probably dried out a little bit since I, I wet it. And I'm going to carry on. So I'll keep my paper tilted basically away from where I've already painted because I don't want water trickling back around the corner there. Let's tidy that bit up there. I don't want water trickling around the corner and creating shapes that I don't want in that other part. So then I'm going to use exactly the same colour and I'm using a number, hmm, I think it's an 18 brush to do this. It needs to be, needs to hold a nice amount of um, pigment and I'm going to turn this around. It might not be so easy for you to see but it's much easier for me to paint. And I'm going to go, and you can change your much smaller brush if you want to, to get into those little bits. And I'm painting to the top edge of a petal here. So I'm going to leave a little white edge to the top. Dropping that in there, you can see that I'm just um, creating the shape of that petal. Then I'm going to turn it around again because it's going to be much easier for me to paint this way around. So my tip's going into the right place. Then I'm painting to the outside of this petal. And that petal is quite rolled. So I'm just going to um, leave a, a very, very small white edge at that top bit there. And I'm going to drop some more pink in up here. But I'm going to dilute it a bit because I made it a wee bit strong. So I'll dilute, put a bit of water in it. I'll just put a little drop of water onto it. It's amazing how much one drop will dilute things. Then I'll just create a suggestion of a shape like that there. And then I'll carry on with my dark, but I'm lightening it slightly. So I'll put a little bit of water in there so that this dark is not as dark as the bottom. And I'm just gonna create a nice shape around that petal, like so. And around that little pink bit. Tip it this way. Then I'm going to dip it in water. My brush in water, not back in the pigment, because I want this to be a lot lighter up here. 
So I've dipped it in water again, my dirty water actually. And then I'm going to turn it around again. We're going this way, so I want the paint to go that way. And I'm going to rinse off my brush a little bit more. And then I'm going to cut in around these petals here. It's pretty dry where I am. Just think about the shape of the petals, not about the shape of the background. So this is, again, this is the, the negative painting. So we're creating the shape of the petals, not the shape of the background. So I'll get in there really carefully. And again, you can go to a smaller brush if you want to, to be careful to go around there. And then I'm tipping. And this is a little bit darker in that corner than I want it to be still really wet so i'm just going to drop some water in there and look it's blossoming and don't doing all sorts of things but that's okay it'll just add interest and texture and then i'm going to tip it back this way drop some water here now this is where it gets a little bit challenging because then we've got to go down this side so i'm just gonna go back to a big a big wet brush so I'm just wetting this so that I've got a nice wet area for this paint to blossom into and I'm just keeping a like a little beaded wet edge there and then I'll pick up my pigment again and it's quite dilute on my brush creating the shape of that back petal and the shape of this one. You don't have to rush this. Take that out into there. And it's got a bit going on over here with the, the pink drifting across. So we'll just give that a little tidy up. And if you get some blossoms and bits and pieces happening with this, don't worry too much. Just keep tipping your paper so that, and if it, um, it, if it ends up that you don't like the look of it, you can either make it worse by adding more water and dripping it around, but you just keep, have to keep a bit of an eye on what's going on with those bits. So now I'm just going to wet down here. And to the bottom. Whilst that's drying out a little bit. And I quite like the idea of dropping a little bit more pink in up the top, the very top there. Just on the, just as a suggestion of there being something else going on in the background there. Might be a petal hanging down from another um, flower. And then with my putting on brush, I'll pick up some more pigment and carry on. So I've got quite, you can see I've got quite a lot of water going on there. Probably a bit too much actually. So here's my pigment again. So it's darker and here I'm defining the shape of this petal. And bringing it up to here. It's a little bit dark for there so I'll just give it a shimmy and a bit of a shape around. You, you, it, you're trying to keep the same colour across the um, the painting so that it feels like it's the same depth of colour on the left as it is on the right. I'll just put a little bit of dark going in there. And then I'll put some more pink in on this side over here. Wet brush. And I might be overdoing this, but we'll see. So load up my brush again. It's, my pigment's drying out. It's all warm in a really warm room here. Oops, it's got a bigger blob of blue on there. It's okay, just mingle it in. And now I'm thinking about my petal shape here again. So I'm going to go back into that corner and up and over and thinking about the shape of that petal and from the bottom. And 
and just keep on tipping it. The water go right to the edge. Now, I'm just looking back here, and I've got a little puddle in here, so I'm just going to work that up because that's going to cause a problem there. And here, it has caused a problem, so I'm just going to wet that to the corner with the dry brush, or well, almost dry brush. Okay? And what I've done is not perfect, but it'll have to do for now because you can always have another go if you want to. And you can always tidy up by um, um, giving it a nice um, a softening of edges. So I'm keeping this tipped so that my colour doesn't run up um, into the dry area. And I'm going to get some nice strong pigment like I did on the other side. And I think I won't put pink down this side or it's going to look too, too um, twee. So again, I'm creating that shape of that petal by um, the negative painting that I'm doing and around that shape there. I think that's just a, like a cute little raggy bit of bud that's broken off down there. So keep those shapes nice and rounded. Kind of the opposite shape of what you think you need to paint, but it actually is forming the shape of the, of the stem. And I'll keep that tilted down that way. So now I'll start breathing again. And there are flower pops out. So in looking at that, I can see that I haven't done a very tidy corner here. This is a bit messy, but the rest is pretty okay. And it will dry quite a lot lighter than that, of course. But um, we'll let that dry now. And I'm going to keep it tilted this way, just gently so that my wet, wettest part doesn't roll back into the not so wet part. I'm just working out that extra that's happening down the bottom there. And there we are.